guys, welcome back to another Stargirl reaction. It's a long time coming and a very late video, but uh, hopefully this episode and next episode will be a back-to-back -back reaction. Uh, good news, the Montana job has officially wrapped up ahead of schedule and we did it tight and right and we had fun along the way. And picked up a lot of time management skills along the way as well with YouTube. Um, a few things I wanted to address before the reaction starts. I'll leave a timestamp somewhere right here for you guys who just want to jump in, but I do have a channel update for you. Um, first and foremost, I've been getting a lot of comments uh, complaining that I may have been forgetting certain story beats or uh, may have been complaining about certain story elements. Do you guys just not watch my videos? Not all of you, but these people leave in the comments. Do you guys just not watch my videos or watch the entire thing because not once have I complained about this show. The only time I have ever been like, hmm, what, was when Courtney reached into the oven and didn't expect to get burned. That was the only plot hole I was questioning. Other than that, I've loved this show. And I bring this up because like I said, I've been receiving a lot of comments complaining about I may have forgotten something and I just want to say a few things. Number one. I am a human being, I am a huge DC nerd, just trying to enjoy this show. I work 10 hour days, now 14 hour days, but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, I work really long days, I don't have a lot of time to engage into these shows and think about them 24-7 like a lot of you guys who may not work have the opportunity to do. And I just, I spend a lot of time on these videos. I've put a lot of special effects in them to give them a little bit of flair and to make them a little bit more original to a lot of other reactors. When I see comments like that, it's very discouraging. Uh, I love these shows. I know I may not know everything about the character of Stargirl and the people in these shows, but I know a lot about DC and I appreciate a lot about DC. This episode's about Shining Knight, for crying out loud. I'm very excited to see him in his full floor, well, I don't know if he's going to be in his full-fledged form, but just to explore that character more. And I may have forgotten that Courtney's mom and Icicle may have mentioned that they were from, uh, that they speak Norwegian and whatnot, but that's just such a small detail, and I don't watch these episodes right when they come out sometimes. You guys, a lot of you guys may, may watch these right when they come out. So it's really upsetting and discouraging to make reaction videos, and I get comments like that all the time. And it's not just one, it's not just two, it's happened a few times, and I just wanted to bring that up. Uh, I still love these shows, but just because I may have mentioned something that you guys remembered happened, and I didn't, doesn't mean I don't like the show or that I'm not enjoying it. It's what I appreciate about you guys in the comments. That's why I read my comments and try to respond to every single one of you guys. Because you guys see things I don't. At the, you know, I, 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 what I'm trying to say is you guys have had time to process the episode and reflect on previous episodes. I haven't. You guys are seeing me react and watch it for the first time right away. I don't have that time to process. That's why I go, um, like, these are all unscripted videos. This is me improv talking to you guys the entire time. This isn't scripted. I don't know what happens in these reactions. I'm not faking reactions. So like I said, I may forget a few things along the way, and I appreciate the those of you who respectfully, who are just like, hey, Zhang, you may have forgot this. Hey, Zhang, you may have, you know, not picked this up. Like the one uh, subscriber, and still thank you, uh, who brought up the card in episode 3 of Icicle. Such a fantastic story beat that a lot of us didn't pick up on. So thank you guys. And for those of you who want to leave, uh, maybe not nasty, but ignorant comments for us content creators who work our asses off to get you guys these videos, how about you watch the entire video or step into our boots? No wonder Akasan stopped doing uh, flash reactions, arrow reactions, supergirl reactions, it's, it's because of comments like those. I'm pretty sure that's what pushed him away, the number one contributing factor. Anyways, um, something else I wanted to bring up is that, like I said, the Montana job is done, and now I am headed up to Alaska. <laughs> oh man, Alaska. A place I've always wanted to go, but never thought I would go to. So I'm very excited about that. My new work schedule my previous one was about 10 to 11 hours every day, one day off. Now it's about 14 hour days, 14 days on, 14 days off. 
So I will have two weeks to pre-record and edit videos for you guys. So videos should be a lot more abundant, a lot more Halo videos coming out, a lot more reaction videos coming out, wrapping up with The Office, Parks and Rec, Rick and Morty, Titans, Stargirl, uh, Clone Wars. I've just started re-watching, uh, not re-watching, but catching up on Clone Wars to get the Season 7 reactions out to you guys. I'm so excited for Season 7. I'm a huge Star Wars fan, if you guys don't know that. But we'll get to that bridge. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited for Clone Wars Season 7. Anyways, I hope uh, you guys are now more comfortable with the channel and have a big, a better idea of what I'm trying to say and where I'm coming from. But uh, I know it's been kind of a long intro, but without further ado, your latest reaction to Stargirl Season 1, Shining Night, starts now. Alright, how are we starting this episode? Shining Knight Origin! That's how. King Arthur, Knight to the Round Table. Let's see how this goes. Nope, modern times. On that gift. Can you help me find them? Please! Oh, you crazy old freak! Now go on, get out of here before I call the cops! Hey, leave my boy alone. He's just looking for anti shadow mirror. The Elder Scrolls battle. fans, do you guys there? Stripesy, all the JSA. That's how you remember. Stripesy. Who's this? Courtney's dad. I thought that was the uh, Hawk from Titans for a second. I was like, okay. Son of a bull. I replied. You I showed up out of. Was that a pun? I was worried. I'm sorry for showing. Is everything alright? Get the Blue Valley. I'm here to get to know my daughter before it's too late. It is too late. But it's not already too late. It already is too late. You, because of you, she thinks Starman's her dad. You left. Coincidentally, in the same night Starman died. Hmm, I don't get why he's the custodian. He was the protect. Oh! OG Gr Dragon King, huh? -uh. No? I looked like Dragon King. You will find Stripesy. He's gonna take the sword. <laughs> Don't kill him. Jesus Christ, that look. Okay. Just 30 minutes. So I can explain. That's it. What happened to just a quick walk? <laughs> God damn it. It's not gonna end well. Why the hell is he carrying a sword? <laughs> it's like. I is that, is that you, Justin? Is that you, Shining Knight? Oh no. It was OG Dragon King. Dragon King? Oh, hold on a second. Just take it easy. <laughs> okay, so Dragon King was involved with him in this show, too. Okay. That was part of his origin story. Aww. Strongest, bravest man I've ever known. They killed all his friends. Aww, he has like some PTSD, doesn't he? That was also an extremely badass reunion, but a kind of a depressing one when you think about it. Her name's Courtney Whitmore. Oh! Now he knows. Her stepfather is Pat Dugan. You might remember him or not. As Starman's lackey, Stripesy. I'm going to go kill him. <laughs> well, um, this is news for Icy. You like Why her. Not? Here's mine. You like her mom, don't you? How come you guys haven't invented like a Magneto helmet for this guy yet? You're hesitating because of her mother? Yep. <laughs> I killed my own wife and son for your dream of a new America, Jordan, and you're hesitating over 
a woman that works for you? Well, when you put it like that, I mean, he does make a good case. A horrible case, but a pretty good case. For an ISA member, at least. All of them? Am I still good? Am, am I still good? I'm going to Alaska now, so... Good luck, all of you. I gotta think... I still escaped him. Hell yeah. Shining Knight, right in the middle. He's the Shining Knight. Yep. The leader of the Seven Soldiers of Victory. Yep. Eight of you can come from anywhere. That was the best part of the story, wasn't it? From the past? Yes, he is. He knows the plan for New America. It sounds insane, but a mass brainwashing of some kind. I don't know what's going on, but... I mean, he's not too far off. Project New America, but with half the states now. Did he only come for the locket? And He only came back for the locket, huh? I really want to hear all about you, honestly. Oh, that's going to be jacked up if he only came back for the locket. Damn, the pain and disappointment in her eyes. Oh man. Damn, the feels. Oh, yeah, I was expecting that. God damn, what a douchebag. What an absolute douchebag. Not, not Pat. Pat's a saint. We stand Pat. Look, Brainwave knows who you are. If you, you guys are pretty much dead if you stay here. See, now you got Shining Knight to protect you. And Stripesy. And the staff. And Wildcat. And our man. It's not going to work because she doesn't believe in it. She doesn't believe in herself, does she? <laughs> Damn, her day keeps getting worse and worse. She could just go to ice school and be like, Yo, I'm done. I'm leaving. Go ahead, do your thing. I quit. <laughs> Peace out. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay, now you might be screwed big time. You might you might have done goofed. And thank you all for coming. I can feel the love in this room for Henry. I oh, I'm sure you can, you asshole. You oh. Doctor, I've seen this isn't. This makes me more angry that he's here, Sometimes mourning his son's death, than it is awkward for him to know Courtney Stark all right now. This guy's more of a douchebag than Zoom. Nothing? Hey! Hell yeah, that's bright. Now, you can take on Brainwave. Hopefully, with some help. And not get killed. Give him some brain damage again. <laughs> How did you- oh yeah, he was sleeping on the couch. <laughs> I remember to my M what? He doesn't know anything. Really, like his Mike didn't do anything. What did he deserve to? What? what did... Mike doesn't deserve that. And they've got, what, 12 hours? God damn it, this is not gonna end well. There you all go, there is my latest reaction to Stargirl Season 1. We've only got two episodes left, I believe, after this. Uh, and it has been 
God damn, this went by fast. What what a fantastic show. This this episode didn't have a lot of wow moments to it. It was just a really slow burn emotional character development full episode is the best way to put it. And I enjoyed every second of it. I really, really can't wait to see how the show wraps up and how this two part finale goes forward. I just so now Brainwave is going to try and kill their family, including Mike. Um, the ISA knows who they are. That's so <laughs> great. Uh, oh, man. It's not going to end well. If you all enjoyed that reaction, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. I have tons of reactions on this channel. Let me know what your favorite moment from this episode was down in the comments below and what you think will happen next episode. Do you think someone will die? Do you think someone will live? Maybe? I hope you all enjoy that reaction. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. Let me know what your favorite moment was in this episode in the comments below. Because uh, a lot happened this episode, even though a lot didn't happen this episode. And those type of episodes are always the best in my book. Because you can really take those moments and appreciate the... What's the best word to use for? The chance and the writing and the slow burn of character development you can just appreciate those moments I, I don't know what the word i'm looking for but it's moments like that that make me really appreciate this show i appreciate episodes and moments like that because not one single episode has been filler every single episode has had a purpose in this episode although it wasn't my favorite episode of the season it was my favorite you know courtney you know the the alias episode if that makes sense the non-superhero the person behind the mask that was a good episode for everyone involved henry um and no i don't mean i don't mean that i mean junior henry even though he's dead he still had um a little bit to shine it's a very henry centric episode and i really appreciate episodes like that i love episodes like that and i can't wait to see what they do next episode because i'm assuming these last two episodes are gonna be very well i don't know it's gonna be kind of because this show doesn't hold back we'll kill people like that apparently so I hope no one dies. They better not touch my boy Mike, and they better not touch my boy Pat. They better not touch anybody in the Whitmore family, because I will be very upset. And, oh yeah, speaking of Whitmore family, the dad. What a douchebag. I think he just wanted the locket. He did not care about getting to know his daughter at all. And if that's the case, I hope you get brainwashed. Well, everyone, that ought to do it for this episode, this video. I'm really excited to see next episode. But for now, thanks for watching. Your latest reaction to Stargirl. Season 1.